um, hi uh, let me introduce about myself i'm subhatra basically i'm a writer you can say uh, i worked as a content writer as well as technical writer i have nearly 6 years of experience in the documentation field so i hope i have enough experience to teach us both now i'm going to explain you about what is content writing and why it is needed how this content writing field works where you can find your opportunities how you can earn through this content writing so let's begin with you know very basic things like what you need to have or what are the competencies you should have to be a content writer that we are going to see as a basic training of this program so let me open this ppt this is i have prepared like uh, this is what we are going to teach you in the content writing course and uh, i have covered some basic as well as essential needs that you have to have to be a content writer fine let's begin so what is content writing as you know the word content itself explains and it's a self defined term whatever you are writing and regardless of any purpose it comes under content writing however the main area or the main part of the content writing is web based one for example writing for websites and writing for blog and publishing newsletters and uh, writing articles web articles are all comes under content writing and what are the skills you require to be a content writer as you know we are going to write it in english right so you should have at least intermediate english level now the basic one as well as you know uh, if you have enough english competency and uh, you can if you can manage i'm sure that you can enhance your english level and shine as a successful content writer intermediate english level doesn't mean that you should know some complicated words it means that you should have basic understanding as well as you should know where and which place you can you have to apply that particular word and you need to know the sentence formatting and a correct grammar that you can learn easily when you start when you started to gain some experience and concentrative mind being a writer you should have a concentrative mind that is highly recommended and highly needed because you should think and write so sometimes you know you have to hear and write so if you are if you are going to hear the other persons recommend you should have some concentrative mind and you should have some, you know um somewhat you know manageable listening skills for example if a company asked you to write an article for a you know company or for a it's kind of uh, let's take uh, let's uh, 
take data sheet as an example if the company is asking you to write a data sheet for their product you should be able to write based on their requirements right so you should note down all their requirements for example what is their exact need and for what purpose they are going to use that one and what are all the modules or the features or functions to be covered under that data sheet and how many words they need and is it going to be a web article or a you know a pamphlet according to that you need to write so you should have that concentrative mind and listening skills in order to be a successful content writer and time management skill this is we are going to talk or discuss at the end of the session in detail where time management you know no one is going to give you a very lenient time since they are going to pay for you so you have to finish your work before the deadline and uh, of course you need patience because being a technical writer or a content writer or a writer you have to have the patience sometimes you may not get points so you have to sit and think and write and willingness to update the competency a content writer should be open to write on any domain under any topics so you have to be updated on each and every area for example you have to you have to be ready on uh, you have to be ready to write on a topic called cloud computing as well as you have to be ready to write on a topic called you know data networking or you have to be ready to write on a functional or a fictional topic you should be open to write on any topic in order to do that you have to update your competency you have to update yourself in each and every sector so how to improve my writing skills this is what your question right so we have the answer for that you need uh, we are going to teach you if you are not very well well versed in english language we, are, we will teach you some basic english usage basic vocabulary common spelling errors and common usage errors that a content writer face at the real time environment for example spelling errors is doesn't mean that you know you are not writing a specific spelling you might have written a good word or the exact word but some points also have to be noted for example you have to make sure whether you are going to write it in us english or uk english or indian english that also matters some minor things some that that may sounds very simple but it matters so how are we going to teach you some basic appliances of words for example let's take the word beauty a writer should know how to use that word exactly let's take this example beauty we know beauty is a noun but being a writer you should know what is the verb of that beauty what is the adjective and what is the adverb 
and how to apply those words in these sentences all those are matters noun is beauty verb is beautify adjective is beautiful adverb is beautifully this all you have to know and you need to start apply that word in a sentence it is not it, it shouldn't be the simple sentence like she is beautiful you, sh you should have you should write you should write at least few you know few word sentences for example on my way to home i saw the sky it was so beautiful and uh, uh, what can we say it was so dusky and uh, the morning dawn was so beautiful uh, for example let's take the word heed h e e d heed you need to write like you do not you do not, don't heed for the policies of so on so some take some complicated sentence write on that so that you can learn that word very easily and to use the dictionary also we have some advices for you we have we use some tools tools as a writer that i'm going to teach you when you you know when you, once you join in the class so what are all the essentials of content writing you have written a, a very good article but it also matters how you present how you are going to present it right so presentation is really important for to be a content writer that i am going to teach you i will start with the basic word usage if you are familiar with word it's well and good but being a writer basic word usage is not at all enough you have to know how to create a template how to create styles and how to how to apply those uh, those styles on the contents all matters so i will teach you word completely that as a you know that will be useful for a writer and if you are writing an article if a first paragraph is not related to the second one will it look good no right so your writing should be in a particular structure for that we use some methodologies that i will teach you once you join in the class and letter writing we will uh, see some part of letter writing as well and resume writing that you can apply on your own resume as well as you can help for your closed ones or beloved ones and uh, reading and comprehension level 1 where i will teach you how to read and how to scan scan is, is different reading is different see for say um, for example you have you are going through a website to write an article you need to look at the important you know, sentences or the points in order to make your article so effective if you are going to look at each and every sentence and each and every word of that website it won't work so i will teach you how to scan instead of read and how to comprehend the contents also being a writer you should have your own checklist checklist is checklist is the very important you know yeah stuff or it plays a very important role in writing for example if you are going to uh, write an article you should have covered all these points 
we have checklist for each and every style of writing that I will share with you when you join the class. And we are we are also teaching some advanced expression of content writing. For example, essay writing, st story writing, some fictional parts. How how you should write, and uh, how you can use some fictional words. From where you can start, from where you can relate, and uh, how to gather points to write. All this, and article writing, and second level of reading and comprehension, and. Uh, the goal of your content and some methodologies and the frameworks we follow to in the content writing field that all I will disclose to you and we are going to discuss about some different types of writing see content writing is a part of writing also being a content writer you can also be all this you can also act on all these roles web content writing academic writing technical writing creative research scientific copy article web copywriting press release writing blog post content writing ad copywriting and so on so i will take all these topics and i'll i'll explain you what is all about so that you can choose your own fee and shine on that and uh, for example once you get some experience in content writing you can move into academic writing where you can earn a nice money that you can search it in google also i will teach you the methodologies and the skills required to be a uh, to play all these roles and the writing process is where we are going to write i will help you to write i will correct your writing and i'm sure that at the end of the course you can see a significant difference between your previous writing and the current writing also ethical norms in content writing is important for example palgrism palgrism is nothing but you are using someone's content as yours it is wrong companies are very smart and the person who are assigning the job to you is very smart they can identify you know um, the palgrism in your content writing so how to avoid using other writing how to rephrase some contents on your own style how to check palgrism at your end before proceeding or before forwarding your documents to the other person all we are going to see so this is what the question when when it comes to content writing in everyone's mind how much a content writer can earn it is a uh, minimum of rupee 1 per word to uh, some companies are offering 2 to 3 rupees also for a good content writer if you are in the startup level you can earn around um 100 rupees for 500 words or um, 80 rupees for 500 words article and uh, you can uh, if you are going to write some technical topics or if you are moved to academic writing for a project or to write on a project you can earn around 500 to 2500 please note that I mentioned the minimum amount you can earn more on a single topic see this is the mail I have got from a company it is uh, related to academic writing you can uh, check their price to write on a single topic fine and uh, if you are in the startup level 
you should start like this. 80 rupees per task you can earn, 100 rupees per task you can earn, you can even earn uh, 200 to 500 rupees per task which would be a simple, uh, what is a simple topics and uh, it needs simple but effective writing. And you can note down the, uh, you know, a point here which you need time management skills. See, the submission time is 10 p.m. So, the day I receive the task, you know, uh, on that particular day itself, I should submit this task. So, I should have some time management skills in order to deliver my document on time. This is the another uh, mail that I have received from a company. So, companies will uh, give you like this keywords, pack us and move us Bangalore, move us, pack us Bangalore. Write first article using these keywords, important guidelines to be followed, so on, so, so on, so. So, if you write all this, uh, if you meet all these requirements in your article, you will be paid. And uh, I just searched in Google with uh, a keyword freelance content writer. A content writer need not to be, need not to go to an office and write. They can sit at home and write and earn. If you want to do some freelancing work, I recommend content writing field is very good that you can try on. See the search result, 111 jobs I found with the simple keyword freelance content writer. So, you can imagine that when searching different keywords, you could have find more keywords, so more jobs. So, this is I have just prepared for the uh, in-person demo class. So, when I meet you in person, I will assess you on giving some simple topic and I will assess you your writing, I will assess your writing and uh, will examine where you need to improve. So, as a summary report, I want to convey you that current writing is a good field and uh, a very nice field to earn money, especially when you want to do a freelance work. You can be, you can choose this field without even a single, without even a second thought. And being a content writer, you can also excel in your, you know, official works like mail drafting and your way of you know communicating communicating with others will vary that you can notice at the end of the class it will be very useful at your work environment also and if you are the person who wish to uh, write um, you know for a hobby that you can choose this field because writing is fun you can find pleasure in that. Okay, you are also welcome to join in this class. And if you are a, if you are a professional and wish to enhance your writing skills, yes, you can enhance by joining in this course. Again, I'm telling current writers are earning a minimum of ten thousand rupees as a freelancers. It's a very good field. Don't hesitate to join in this class. You can improve your competency and you can see the drastic change 
from your previous style of writing and after style. So thanks for listening. Have a good day.